In today's video, we're going to tell you why we think size matters. Tell them all about why size matters, honey. All right. Am I an expert? You are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were researching for our purchase of our RV, we really liked the state and national parks. So size was a big deal to us. We didn't want to go too long, but we wanted enough room to be comfortable. So that's why we chose the, our coach, which is 35 feet. Long. Overall. Overall. Mm -hmm. And we're here today in the Crooked, Crooked River. River State Park. And we're on our annual trip back to Florida right now. And this is one of our go-to campgrounds on the way back. You so, really need to put it in your list um, for overnight. Even a couple weeks stay, the park is just um, very well maintained. It's on the quiet side. Yeah, Not great... that that has anything to do with size matters, but FYI, Crooked River well, we'll State get, Park. We're getting to the why size matters. Yeah. So when we when we scheduled to come back, the only site available was this site we're in. I think this is 16. Site? No, it's 39. 39, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So this is site 39, and it said 30 foot max. Well, I didn't put any I didn't put any size in by mistake when I was checking. Typically, I would put 35 foot in in the size of our RV, and this site would not have come up because if I put 35 in and it's only a 30 foot, it wouldn't have shown as available. So because I didn't have any size in when I was doing my search, this showed up. And I didn't realize it until after I booked that it was a 30 foot site. Right. So my mistake, my bad. Well, but a lot of the it turned out great. A lot of the uh, state parks and national parks, they'll say 30 foot max, but typically they'll hold a lot bigger coach. We had no problem coming into this site, even though we're, our model is a 33 AA and we're 35 foot overall, mm -hmm. tip to tip. So we had no issues at all and it's a great site, but it wouldn't have, if we hadn't checked it and taken the chance. Now we're not saying you're not ever going to get burnt, Right. You could. You could. Um, but we've been like Florida Caverns. That was a 30 foot max. And we had a little trouble getting into that one. It took, luckily, it, it, there was no one in the spot across from us to, to make the turn. To back in. So we mm -hmm. got into that no problem. And leaving was no problem at all. Now, let me throw out there, too. I've also read that at the Florida State Caverns, they aren't going to allow you to book if you're over 35 foot. They just redid all of their spots at Florida Caverns. Yeah. So. Um, but it was a 30 foot site and we fit no problem. Now you'll get people out there on the internet that'll say, oh, it doesn't matter if I'm 40 foot or 45 feet. I've never had a problem getting this site, blah, blah, blah. It's not true. It's very difficult to find sites, even ever since COVID. It's hard to find sites. It's getting a little easier now because I, I, that's another video we're going to do. I think the RV crash is coming. It's, it's actually here. I'm seeing more and more units for sale. All the people that went out and bought uh, stuff during COVID, now with the rising fuel prices, are unloading it. So it seems to be getting easier, although this park is always difficult to get a spot anymore mm -hmm. since... We got lucky. Yeah, so... It's fully packed this weekend. If you want to stay... If you're staying in resorts, okay, then you're good, you're good. You can get a 40 or 45 foot coach, no problems at all. But if you want to stay in the state parks and the we national parks, staying on you got to stay on side. the shorter side. Mm -hmm. And uh, you really want to keep in mind when you're doing the state parks, the, the shorter the RV or your trailer, fifth wheel, whatever, the better. We stayed at Paris Mountain in South Carolina and the roads are very narrow and windy. Yeah, it's basically one one coach in, and then if anybody meets you head on, they got to move over. Right, and even the spots in. were were tight they were on tight. our thirty five foot. Yeah, so we don't, don't want to go back. There. We don't want to tell you go big or necessarily go small, but you got to keep in mind if that's the type of camping that you're going to do. Like yeah. Randy was saying, with the resorts, you won't have a problem. But if you're interested in the state parks and the national forests and such, um, definitely Smaller keep it in. 
Right, smaller, smaller better. better. We, I would even go smaller if we weren't living full time in ours. So the reason we picked ours is a couple of reasons. We love the layout, right? Oh yeah. We wanted a diesel and I didn't want the breeze. Tiffin makes a breeze, which is a little smaller unit, but it doesn't have a washer and dryer. So this coach had everything we wanted and it was as short as possible. So. Uh, Miss, it, Be Miss Betty does just about everything we want her to do. You pick what's right for you. And look at this place. I mean. Would you rather stay in a a resort? Well, it's each to, to or each would you rather own. stay here? To me, to me, this is this is what it's all about. This, I feel like I've said it a couple times this week. It takes different. all kinds yeah, to make this world go round. So, so you got to do your research and don't listen to the naysayers. And you end up buying a coach that's too long, and you like to do state parks. You're going to have trouble. You're going to have to book a year out, and uh, you know. One other thing I'd like to add. Do your research. After I found out this was a 30 foot, I didn't necessarily panic. We went online, we pulled the site up, we took a look at it. They have pictures. Most state parks include pictures of their sites. And being that it was a pull through, we figured, you know what? We should be okay. Did we sweat it the whole we journey sweating. on well, down? We, again, we were willing <laughs> to lose the two nights and that's all we could get was two nights. Yeah. Um, we were willing to lose the two nights and we had if a backup we had plan. To. So yeah. it's not a big deal. When we've been here, I probably this is our seventh time in At this least. park. At least, yeah, I've never would been think. in this site. But we've been by it and I couldn't remember if it was big enough or if right. it came to a point. It's like a V. You know. That's we got the, lucky. That's the tip for today, I guess. Yeah. So. And always be flexible. Yeah, you gotta be flexible. But have a backup plan. It's beautiful here. This this park it never disappoints us. We're gonna go out and ride the bikes later. Uh, we went into town. Yes, uh, we did. If you come in, if you come to Crooked River, and this is in Georgia, right on the Florida line. Um, you definitely want to go into Old St. Mary's. Yes. Um, we went in and did the submarine. Yeah, tour. it's a charming submarine museum. A charming seaside town. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got they got ferry rides out there. And, a bunch of different restaurants. We, we they got a for, railroad museum going into town. Yeah, we did that. We, we we stopped by the railroad museum, but for some reason on Saturday it's closed, which I don't understand. They're only open Monday through Friday, so you want to keep that in mind if you're going to visit the railroad museum. They have we a nautical seashore museum that opens at one today. We missed that. We went we there, down. but it was, yeah, it was <laughs> too early. Too early. We so. hit the submarine museum. They have submarine the ferry. Submarine museum is cool. What do, you, what do you think about it? Like. Oh, I enjoyed it. I like that history, you know. I don't, that's... I don't know much about submarines. You'd never get me on one. I'd go on one to check it out, but I'd never, like, go out there and go underwater. Yeah, it's just too, that... too, too in a box for me. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it, it, uh, those guys are something, man. They're, they're, they're pretty a much different breed. They're pretty brave individuals yeah. to be under the water at a, whatever. And we're going to give a shout out to all our military. We yeah, appreciate absolutely. your service and all that you've done for our freedoms. Well, back to the town, they had a couple cafes. They have an ice cream shop where you can get candy and homemade ice cream. It was really cute. I enjoy that kind of like quaintness downtown. Yeah. So it was uh, a fun little stop for us. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole town was stopped. We're pressed for time now. We didn't want to wait for the uh, Cumberland Museum to open up. Well, well we could go back later this afternoon, but we wanted to um, ride the bikes and yeah, they have mini golf here. So I'm going to kick Randy's tush t later on in yeah, mini that's golf. That's not going to happen. <laughs> you might try. <laughs> Don't want you to um, feel any pressure. There's a speed bump in the middle of this one. Oh. We're tied going into the last hole at Augusta. Yeah, right. Okay. The Crooked River Showdown. Crooked River. It's going to be ugly. After further review, <laughs> some bad scorekeeping. I'm the winner like by a wins. stroke, by 57 stroke. to 56. But I didn't know that going into this hole or I would have crushed her. <laughs> And we've so. already trail walked with the dogs. They absolutely love it, the pugs do. We'll probably take them out again um, for a nice little walk when it starts to cool down this afternoon. And uh, 
just enjoy some downtime. On the way back to Florida. So jump in the comments what you guys think um, and how you do it. Yeah, we'd love any tips or suggestions. may get some hate from saying, taking a little sight, but it is what it is, so. Well, if you're in a bind anyway. These times you know. of uh, tough RV and what I call a tough RV and ever <laughs> since COVID, the uh, supply and demand is way out of whack. But like I say, it is. it seems to me it's starting to ease up. Subside a little bit, so we'll see. All right. If you like this video, you know what to do. Click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in our next video.